guilty parties. Uh, no, wait, guilty pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> guilty guilty parties. Guilty parties. That's more right yes. yeah. <laughs> Guilty pleasure dinner. And I brought two wines. Count one, two. Uh, with me tonight, two natural hairy armpit wines for Dan, the boy, Dan and Dan. Uh, so, first one we have is the Contadino number five from Mount Etna. So, this is a blend of red and white. Grapes uh, grown on the slopes of Mount Etna, unfiltered, unrefined, unsulfur, just natural as can be. It's hairy armpits. You can know this wine's got uh, it's it's incredibly natural. There's sticks and stones and all kinds of crap floating. Oh yeah, I um, I, I see frogs in there. Probably. Not the snail that we had. No, not the snail. Window, yeah. Although he was in here earlier. <laughs> and he may well have fertilized this wine. <laughs> It kind of um, looks like he's part of the last. <laughs> it's cloudy. It's got some. It's it's. We, we all thought it had this weird cider, like country scrumpy character to begin with. Uh, I'm not so sure, but it's got some. It's definitely got some kind of raspberries and, and red cherries and things like that. And then, but it's just got so much like a just wild herby. But this is oh. this wine is not a very everyday wine drinker, I'll just tell you that right now. It's a very, very specific. <laughs> also, the other one I brought is from Banyuls, uh La Poudre des Compel. Uh, really uh, really pleasant. Um, Great primary fruit, kind of up front, nice acid, nice freshness, and then a slightly kind of waxy character I can sometimes find in young wines. Um, but I also get lots of that bread as well, we were talking about earlier, you know, the, you know, the, the, the southern, southern France, bread, 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 bread. It's like the winemaker invited the International Red Cross to come in yeah. and basically the wine. the winery <laughs> in Bandits. You can imagine. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, that's exactly what it is. There's a lot of that there. It's pretty feral, but it's, it's got a lot of character. It's got a lot of personality, and that's what wine needs to have. You know, it talks of the area, and that's what we want. Exactly. And I think this wine, though, is much more approachable as opposed to the kind of I this, this one is, to get yeah, yeah. This one is a, a much more, as you said, a hairy armpit, and that one is shaved armpits. Yeah, and if we were talking about movie stars, <laughs> if we were talking about movie stars, well, well, where would we go? Oh, then? oh, that's a good question. Oh, the Contadino would be somebody wild and crazy, like Dennis Hopper. Mm, no, he's. He's one crazy, two of drugs, but he's possibly too established with this. I'm thinking Juliette Lewis. She's oh, yeah. properly wild. Oh yeah. She made Julian a few Lewis. whacked out movies <laughs> and then decided to become a pop star. No, I think that probably reflects that wine quite well. I think I think Dan's right. I think this is the Julia Lewis world. Second one might be a bit more tennis hopper because it is it is it's weird. It's wild. It took a lot of drugs in the 70s, 60s, and 80s. It's calmed down. But at the moment, he's kind of chilled out, and this wine is very approachable. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, oh yeah, I can see that. So we got the Dennis Hopper, Julia Lewis. I think so. Anyway, so that's the girl. Sorry, not the girl. That's the girl. That's the girl over there. It's the wine sleuth and the boy. The boy. Coming at you from North London. Right. Cheers. 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 You all finished there? <laughs> Sorry, it's not the same to work for it. Quiet! Quiet! On the set! Quiet! On the set! <laughs> anyway, back to the wine. I can't work in these. I just, I can't work under these conditions. I'm going. I'm just preparing your next cocktail. Oh, okay. You can edit it afterwards. Yeah, well, you're editing it all out. <laughs> edit this! <laughs> <laughs> I, heard what, I heard what Floyd said last night about celebrity shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's a case of point right over there. Anyway. Anyway, back to the wine. So, um, 